in this bitch, and you know we fucking lit. Smoke a op just like a zip, it's rest in peace, that's off the rip. I know sometimes I'm a trip, I just pray I do not slip. Got your bitch up on my dick, that dirty sauce up on the lip. Said I'm back up on the beat, fuck with me, you face the beat. That's your bitch, she buy the cheaper mommy and some swisher sweets. I'ma eat by any means, they count me money in my dreams. Life ain't always what it seems, but fuck it, I'ma stack my cheese. Ah. Alright y'all, so welcome to a new vlog. It's a pretty uh, nice and sunny day out. You know, ever since I dropped that video of the chemtrails, I've never seen, I think I've seen it only one time so far. So, I don't know if our message actually got out there. Well, I know it did get out there, but what I'm trying to say is I don't know if if they heard us, you know? I think that's what happened, and they're like, bro, we got caught. We need to chill out. We need to chill out until the video becomes like no one doesn't care about it. You know what I'm saying? So, what I want y'all to do right now is share my content. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff before we start this video. Uh, I'm just about to roll up a sweet, and I'm going to be telling y'all about the title. Obviously, um, I almost shot myself, guys, and I'm going to explain to y'all how this happened. Um, I'm about to roll up right now and just talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just chill with y'all. I just ran into a fan right now, or like a homie or whatever. I was driving, he's like, hey. I was like, what's up, bro? He's like, I fuck with your music. I'm like, yeah. All right. That's what's up, man. We coming up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So we got this hemp gar I'm about to roll up. You know what I'm saying? That way. So basically, um, a lot of my fans heard this story before, like, um, uh, on my old channel at least. And you see, like, I almost, I almost killed myself, bro. And I'm explaining to y'all, like, how this happened and how stupid I am, bro. And I, I was so disappointed in myself, like, I was actually just, like, thinking in my mind like wow I can't believe how dumb I was you know what I'm saying guys so um I've only I've always been around like guns and stuff you know like weaponry and all that your boy done seen grenades your boy done got guns pulled out of pulled out on him for wearing the wrong color shoes your boy's been through a lot right so I've fucking I knew for sure like when I was young, I didn't really think that I needed a gun. You know what I'm saying? And it was to where I got older, I realized that you need a gun because, like, yeah, you could beat someone up. But let's say it's five on one. I mean, you, if you could still beat them up, that's cool and all. But some people can't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you got a gun and you could show them who's boss. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm, what I'm saying is, so I... I I ended up, I got robbed one time. I was, uh, it's really nothing to talk about. But I got robbed. I got robbed, like, in my whole life, I think I lost about $3,000 and about four k. But that was because, that's from taking losses, about only $4,000. I know that's like, sounds like a lot. But in this game, that's, that's a cheap price to pay. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, I lost so much because I would, like, Lend my people's money. I'll lend them, you know what I'm saying? And they wouldn't pay me back, some of them. And I just left it like that, you know what I'm saying? You lost a friend over some money. It's pathetic. So, um, I left it like that, yada, yada. I lost a car, my first car I ever got. That's how your boy Young Mike rolls. I lost my first ever, my first ever car, I lost it. Um, I was on the run, I had a warrant, and my insurance, like, now I pay my insurance, like, I, I keep track of it, but I didn't keep track of my insurance. I had it in someone else's name, right? What ended up happening was, um, she, she ended up not paying it, so that's what happened. I, I got pulled over because I had, I was speeding, I had no insurance, I had no driver's license, and I had a warrant for my arrest. 
which is all crazy story. But that day, I ended up doing six to nine months. I got sentenced. But it took me two months to get sentenced. No, it took me a month to get sentenced. Then it took me a month to get shipped to the place to start my time. The time I was doing was dead time. It didn't count. Shout out LitRhino.com. Links in the description, guys. If y'all want to go check out some of the stuff for uh, Christmas. Do not go to smoke shops ever again, guys. LitRhino.com. That's the best stuff that I've seen thus far. And for a really good price, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shipping is this much, but if you put in my young mic down below, you'll see in the link. Um, you get 10% off, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's get it, man. Um, so basically, guys, I went and got a gun. Uh, I've been around guns, and my homies have guns, but like at this time, it was like at night, and I got robbed at night. Mm -mm. Some dragon's breath. She tastes so good. So I got robbed at night, right? And my homie, my homie was like five feet away, not, not like five, like ten feet away. The car drove off, and I'm like, "Hey, bust these homies, bust these homies." Not homies, but I'm not gonna cuss. Hey, bust at him, bust at him. This happened before. I don't want to say too much about it, but what I what I can say is. I ended up just getting like a gun after this day because my homies, they got guns, but they weren't there for me that time or like at this moment. So I was like, fudge, fudge, damn, what do I do, what do I do? So some big swole guy comes through, he got he got guns on deck or whatever. This is my first gun like in my possession like that I ever bought. So he ends up. He got a couple guns or whatever. I buy one of them in an army bag and like hollow tips or whatever. It's a 22 Rough Rider revolver. About what is it? A seven, six shot, six shot revolver with a safety on that thing, man. So look, this is the craziest part. So I'm playing around with the safety, bruh. I will put three bullets when I go out sometimes. I put only three, and then the other three. That way I don't blow my balls off like Cheddar Bob, you know what I'm saying? Um, back then when I had my, that was my first gun obviously, so I was kind of scared of, of, of it going off on me. So I always kept it on safety with only three bullets in there. The first three in the rounds, the first three rounds were empty. So I would play around with my homies and I'll clock it back and I'll pop it. But it's no gun, it's no bullet in there because I know there's three, then it's the the other three, right? So, I'm over here, and my homie, we were, I remember when my homies were about to fight, he's like, bro, don't point no gun at me, don't point no gun at me. Same homie that tried to, it's a long story, guys, but same homie that turned on me, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, I'm not going to put you, you're, like, you in danger like that, bro, like, I know what I'm doing type shit. There's no, I, I opened it, I'm like, bro, look, there's only three and it's on, down below here and not up here. I know what the fuck I'm doing. And plus, it's even on safety, son. So, I'm like, bro, chill. So, two, all right, y'all, so two, three weeks go by. <clears throat> and someone, not two, three weeks, like, about a year, not a year, like, two months, my fault, like, two months. So, about two months go by and I just see, like, an opportunity. Homie's like, hey, I got this Gucci yadi yadi for sale. Um, it's on. My boy could do it for this much. I said, damn, bet. Where you at? And he's like, I'm at work right now. Just meet me after work. Like, at, I get off at 10. I'm just mopping the floors right now. He said some shit like that, right? I said, bet. I'm, 10 o'clock at night, by the way, guys. 10 o'clock at night. I said, bet. Um... Long story short, it's, he's off of work. He comes through, and we go. We're in the cut, and I, he, I'm like, bro, you got the stuff or what? He's like, I'm sorry, I keep on seeing smoke come out of my mouth, but I'm not even hitting it. Okay, I was about to say, what's going on? So he's all like, he tells me, he's like. You got the money? I say, yeah, I got the money, bro. Where's your stuff at? 
You know I'm good. He's like, oh, it's still around over here. I said, all right, bet. I don't know why. Like, I just trusted homie, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't trust him enough to not have my tool on my side. It's 10 o'clock at night on the block, nigga. You need to, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I got it on my side. And I'm walking with him. He's on this side. And I remember telling him, I'm like, bro, it's been dry as shit out here. And then next thing you know, this is how it sounded. I'm not really going to hit myself, but look. Boom. He just chin checks me, bro. Start. I forgot. I was so hyped up. So, like, adrenaline. What is How you say it? Adrenaline was rushing. I don't know, man. But Oh, man. All I fucking know is I was just... Boom, 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 boom. I thought it fucking chigasas, bro. I just, like, doing my thing, bro. Knock the glasses off this man. He's like, he was like 19, bro. I was like 15. Knock the glasses off this man. Low key beat him up, right? Beat him up to where he stopped and he said, damn. Like, he thought I was just going to fold or some shit. And people that try me, they think I'm a fold. Yeah, yeah, they can think I'm a fold, but I don't fold, nigga. No. And y'all know I don't fold. Everyone of y'all know I don't fucking fold, nigga. So what ended up happening when I beat this nigga and I forgot I had the pistol. So guess what I did? I said, oh, <laughs> bitch. He said, oh, shit. Yo, so he's like, oh, shit. And then, I don't want to say the cuss word, but. Boom, he falls off the curb. Um, Some Chinese guy saw this, right, in those apartments I was living in. And every time I see this Chinese guy, he's always like, I'm like, yeah, boy, you know what's up, man. They try me, boy. They try your boy. And I'm not scared, bro. You know, my partners know what's up. I ain't scared, bro. I, I do what I, I, I have to do, you know. But let's get off from that. That's why I started having guns. You know what I'm saying? That's but once that second re, second robbery attempt went down, I was straight <sighs> zooted, boy. That was just my first one. But long story short, this was with my first gun. So I had that Rough Rider 22 revolver, and I'm in my restroom in the same restroom as the thumbnail y'all see. And I'm chilling in there by myself, and I clocked the 22 Rough Rider revolver back, and I pointed to my head. Do not ever, 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 ever times 100 million ever. Ever, 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 ever. Oh, yeah. Don't ever try to do that, boy. You stupid. Don't ever point a gun to your head. I don't care if it's not loaded. I don't care if it's loaded. Why would you point it to your head? Oh, yeah. But look, man, this is what I did. I put it. I put it to my head and I pop it. Depending the whole, the safety is, is what's keeping me alive at this point. This is a hollow tip right behind that safety. If that safety would have went out, young Mike wouldn't be here today. And I think God wanted me to learn this. You know that guns are dangerous, but you just got to really understand how to use them and what to use them for. You know what I'm saying? So... I keep on playing with myself, you know, like shooting it to my head and shooting it and thinking I'm the shit, you know what I'm saying, guys? But low key, this is where it all went down. So I'm jamming now, right? And I'm smoking a blunt. And I remember like it was yesterday. And I'm just chilling on my chair. Right in front of me is like kind of my toilet, you know what I'm saying? So I point the pistol to my toilet. I'm not really going to show you how the pistol went. I point the pistol to my toilet. And I... I just, I don't know, I was like this, and I just, now I didn't even hear the pop. This is all I hear once I squeeze the trigger. Beep. I'm like, oh. All right, y'all, so at this point, my ears are ringing loud, bro, and I just thought I was shot because I felt wetness. So I'm all looking around my body, bro, and I'm like, oh, shit, I shot myself, I shot myself. And I, I realized... I look at the toilet, and it's just all shattered because the toilet's made of glass, right? By the way, we're in some apartments. We're not even in the house. We should, bruh, and then, like, I look at the toilet, and it's all broken. Like, the, the it was a head of thing on top of it. That thing's all shattered. 
the toilet itself was good. It kind of made a, even a, a hole through the glass down into the bottom of the toilet and expanded the hollow tip so it was all like burnt right there I saw. Then I was like, oh shit, my grandma like, you know, I got, I go outside and I tell my grandma like, you okay, you okay? She's like, yeah, that was a gun, wasn't it? I said, yeah, I'm, so, I'm like, I'm so sorry. She's all like, I don't want that shit in my, I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up. I go, I go, it's just like a long story, bro. I'm just like, oh man. But that was like a while back. And I, I don't know, bro, like, ever since then, I felt like God blessed me because I don't know when it went off safety. And for some reason, I had to find out, and it wasn't towards me. So, basically, guys, it comes down to I almost killed myself, man. And I just want to tell everybody out there that's play, playing with guns and shit, it's not cool to play with them. But we use them for our protection. And we used to use them, you know, for some other reasons. But that was some low life shit, man. And we were broke as fuck. And even if I'm broke, if I go, bro I'm never going broke again. But even if I do by any chance, um, I'm still not going to be on the same shit I was. Because I already know, bro, like, you can't level down. You got to keep on going up. So that's just what it is, guys. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'm sorry this video was kind of short. Drop 200 comments for new music, and I'll drop some new music for y'all. You already know what's up.